Good day, beautiful people. Welcome back. Today we're taking a look at the Sergeant, Sergeant Nefanyo. Uh, he is the boss of Phobos. He's a member of the Corpus, and he is the person you have to kill in order to farm Mag. Uh, Mag's pretty decent little uh, Warframe, so it's worthwhile getting this done when you can early on. She's not uh, amazing in my eyes, but uh, she can be can be quite useful. Uh, so we're going to track his stats up on the screen right now. Okay, so he's got Flesh, Proto Shield, Ferrite Armor. Uh, as far as his shield goes, normal sort of stuff, Magnetic's going to do more damage against his shield. But his shield is relatively small, uh, and it comes back sort of instantly, so you kind of just want to deal with it and then deal with his Flesh as quickly as possible. Uh, so Corrosive is going to do well against his Ferrite Armor that he has. Uh, and apart from that, Toxin and Viral uh, is, well, Toxin's going to do well against his Ferrite Armor, but Viral's going to do well against his Flesh as well as Toxin. Um, so we're not going to be going for Magnetic, we're going to be going along the Toxin line. So what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be using uh, Excalibur again for this. We're going to use a Heck build. Um, so I'm just going to quickly, uh, let's just quickly go and check because I forget what the Mastery rank is requirement is for the heck. So if you want to find uh, good weapon news, just go into your primaries. Um, so if we go down and have a look at the heck, so it is a mastery rank four, so you definitely should have access to this and it's very good shotgun. Um, there are of course better versions of it, but what we're going to do is we're going to assume that you at least have the heck, that you at least have it fully maxed out. So you have 30 uh, mod points to work with. I'm not going to use all 60. Uh, and we're not going to go full retarded with Hell's Chamber and stuff like that. So I'm assuming that you would probably have point blank. Uh, now I would I would use Hell's Chamber and uh, things like Vigilant Armaments for more, um, and you know Scattered Justice for even more multi shot to make this absolutely disgusting. But what we're going to do is we're going to base it just on using point blank and Contagious Spread to take us to 20 points used. We would only have 10 left. Um, so, you know, there's a load of different options you could go for. Um, now, I probably wouldn't worry too much about um, going into Crit. We could just go down the lines of adding um, some Slash Damage with Shredder. Because uh, I don't want to make it too OP, so I'm just going to actually go for uh, Shredder and add some extra slash damage. So we've got a decent amount of damage on there. Of course, if this was a full build, if you were going um, up against the Sergeant uh, later on in the game, um, what I would do for that is... Oh, we have another build on here. Um, if, you, if you were using the Heck, um, this is what I would go for. I probably would go for something a bit... A bit better like the Tigress Prime if you were uh, further up into the game. So let's just reset that stuff. Um, but you know, I actually love the heck and my standard sort of build for it um, doesn't allow me to go too mental uh, because it's a lot of points being used. But sort of something like that, um, which would give us, what's that, uh, 320 and another 60, that's 380% multi-shot, which is just disgusting. Uh, you know, and then go from there um, into your other mods. I really, I could do with um, with uh, formering this a few times. I have actually been using the Vacor Heck, but you know, something. this is something you can definitely achieve on uh, the Heck. Uh, even just this will just absolutely decimate it, but we're not gonna use that we're just going to go for something super, super simple. Uh, and if you are wondering, this mod here is available from your uh, syndicates. I think it's from Steel Meridian. Uh, so we're just going to go with something super simple. And it's going to be enough. We're not really going to use any Warframe abilities. But um, we'll talk about that in a second. As far as uh, rewards go, we'll uh, just... I think he's on Iliad. Yeah, he's on Iliad. So we're going to load into here. I do have it on friends only. So as far as awards goes, we said you will get Mag. Uh, he can drop Morphix on his death or Oricon cells. He can also drop mods such as Magazine Warp, which will give you 30% magazine capacity, which is not 
that great, but uh, Thief's Wit definitely is. I use it quite a lot. Uh, I have a couple of builds where I use it all the time, uh, especially for Syndicate missions to get those medallions. You can also get Reflex Coil, and you can get Shocking Touch, which if you don't have it for your melee weapon, this is a good spot to actually farm it. Uh, it does only have a 7.52% chance to drop though. Magazine Warp and Thief's Wit have 38% between them. Reflex Coil is about 15% and Shocking Touch is 7.5%. Uh, so we're just going to go straight in there and smash his face in. Uh, keep in mind that if you want to make this super easy uh, and you have Loki or Ash being invisible with Loki or Ash, I'm not sure if it works with Ivara. I assume it probably actually does um, because the Sergeant will attempt to go invisible. Uh, when you get there. Uh, so being invisible with someone like Loki will uh, negate that. He won't actually go invisible. So that is quite handy. We just want these guys out of our face. Farm them up if you want. I just want to get to the boss. And I know I'm super slow because I don't like to go super fast. Because sometimes when I watch people's videos, I feel like they're going too fast and it just bothers my eyes a little bit. Uh, it's not so bad while I'm playing, but I don't want anyone watching to actually have that same problem. So, we're nearly there. We're nearly there. Um, as I said, he does have a proto shield, but it's not that big really. It, you know, it's not, it's not something mental that you have to deal with, so you don't really have to build around that. It should be fine. Um, good old Helio skin and that for me. I would have assumed I had all this shit done already, but apparently not. This is push past, and he should be just up here. See, there he goes, invisible. Uh, and he's somewhere over here running. There he is. It's right on me. So, you see there, um, I'm not sure if you actually noticed, but right at the end when he was one shot, he still had pretty much full shield, but um, you know the toxin is just that good that it does not need to worry about the uh, the shields. It just goes straight with the health. And um, considering that the toxin is also good against his ferrite armor, um, it's just a really really good way um, of going at it. Anything. Um, any type of boss or enemy early game that are affected by toxin um, that do take extra damage, I strongly recommend that you actually um, use that toxin damage because it makes life so much easier, especially the corpus. Because, uh, like I said, it just negates um, the need to actually deal with the shield. Um, so that's Mr. Sergeant Nathaniel. Um, like I said, he will be a little bit harder to beat but generally i i think that uh if you're at the point where you're doing level 100 bosses um you you've pretty much beaten all the bosses in the game or at least the majority of them and you know that he is extremely easy to beat um he's you he pretty much one shot the guy uh with a okay tigress prime he's just he just gets pretty much decimated um so that's it and that will give you um like I mentioned, that will give you access to Mag, uh, which is right there, probably looking really bad, because I hate Mag skins. She's actually pretty cool, though. Um, she is a very good frame. Quite underrated, probably. Um, you know, uh, if we look at her abilities real quick, she has a pull. She can pull people towards her. She can magnetize to create a magnetic field around the target, ensnaring enemies uh, and dealing damage over time. The field reacts to bullets and shards created from the polarize ability to increase damage. And polarize emits an energy pulse that depletes enemy shields and armor, creating shards which become deadly when mixed with magnetized shields of allies touched by the pulse are restored and crush magnetize the bones of nearby enemies, causing them to collapse. Uh, she's pretty cool. She makes some really hard enemies easy to deal with. You just use your magnetize uh, to make it so that they just cop massive amounts of damage off all your bullets. Um, but that is it. I'm getting her off my screen because I've really... I've tried so many times to make her look good. Um, but I don't know. I like, I like my uh, Excalibur. 
because he looks like that. So hopefully that was helpful for someone. I'm not sure who would be really struggling with the sergeant, but that at least uh, hopefully helps someone to get him down a little bit quicker. Uh, like I said, we do have Loki. Um, smash Loki in there and just go Invis before you get it into the room. And it'll be super easy. You won't go Invis until you come out of Invis and he notices you. Uh, apart from that, just stack on some Toxin, maybe some Slash Damage um, or, uh, or Corrosive if you want. Uh, and you'll be fine. Toxin's probably the best way to go though. Uh, so that's it for the video guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Next up we'll be moving on to, I'll probably will actually do a video for the uh, next boss fight, which is Lieutenant Lek Krill and uh, what's his face? Captain Law, of course. Um, so I'll probably do a video on that. Um, we've already covered doing them, but they will be a little bit higher level. So it might be a little bit more important to go in there with some, some better gear. Uh, we are of course, um, doing these videos based on the fact that people are new to the game, obviously, because if you're a little bit uh, better at the game uh, and further in, you're going to know what the hell you're doing anyway. So we'll probably get that out in the next um, day or so. I've not really been that well still, so um, we'll just get them out every second day. I'm just going to try to focus on a video every two days for now. Uh, and then once, once I get once I get uh, into the swing of things and I've done most of the bosses and stuff and the guidey portions, um, then we will uh, move on and I'll probably try to get a build out a day or something like that. There's, that'll keep me busy for a while because there's so many weapons. But I do have to go through, you know, and uh, get enough um, Oricon Catalysts. Uh, to get him to 60 points and form a few times. So there's a fair bit of effort involved in that. But um, that's it for the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, smash the like button. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. And if you have any extra questions whatsoever, leave them in the, the comment section in the down there. Uh, subscribe if you're not already. With that said, thank you so, so much for watching. I love your face. And I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.